Thanks for coming back. Today we review The Dark Crystal from 1982 for this week's Harry Movie Club, curated as always by Mr. Harry Britt. The Dark Crystal, if you look on IMDb, if you look in the cast, you'll see it says that there is people listed like Jim Henson as a performer, and then there are other people like Steve Whitmore as a voice. It's due to the fact that in this it is uh, all not Muppets, but almost uh, Muppet-like things, Jim Henson creations. And with the Henson creations, they are very unique, and some of them are rather uh, frightening, especially if you had seen this when you were a child. I had not seen this before Mr. Harry Britt had chosen it for this week's Harry Movie Club. I must say, though, I'm not disappointed. If I had seen it when I was a child, like I was saying, there are things that would frighten me, such as the Gartham. They're like, uh, they remind me of crayfish. They have, like, lobster claw hands, and big protective coating on their back. It looks metalish. It is written and directed by Jim Henson, and the movie does flow well. There was the part where the podlings were getting sapped of their life essence, and I did at first think that that was unnecessary, because when they're slaves, they look pretty much like the podlings, just without their color. But later in the movie, they do once again show that when they're sucking the essence from Kira, one of the two remaining gelflings. So there wasn't anything unnecessary in this, and everything did go smooth. It is listed on IMDb as a family movie, and I don't know if I'd agree with that. Due to the f amount of murder that is in this and just fighting, there is a uh, Kira gets just fully stabbed in it. There is a lot of murder in this for it being listed as family. It is a good watch and it does still stand the time due to the fact that most of the uh, creatures have been physically created so they don't look dated. There were a few times uh, when they had like the CGI sky in the background and you could tell that that was fake. But like when they're using the land striders, which are another creepy creation, the movie's just filled with them. You can see in the background the sky for the land strider scene is a bit uh, phony. But from being 1982, it definitely holds up. And I would say that this is a keep. It may not be a movie that I watch frequently, but it is a good movie just to uh, show the originality that can be done and the f things that can be done practically. Uh, even in this day and age of total special effects. Thanks for watching. Today we review A Dark Crystal from 1982 for this week's Harry Movie Club. As always, the annotation there. Click it to get, go to Mr. Harry Burt's channel and the playlist with all the submissions from everyone. Feel free to comment below on what you thought of this movie or you can tell me other ones to uh, watch. Reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.